Today we're going to go through how to calibrate the TXR Setical generator. This particular generator is a 32kW generator, um, and we're going to start by hitting the I button, which is the on button. When we hit the on the I button, it's going to go through a series of tests here, and once it's ready, we can start the calibration. Now that we see the x-ray console is here, that will give us the indicator that we can go ahead and start calibration. Now these two buttons here, this one is highlighted. This is the small focal point spot, and this is the large focal spot. We want to start off first with the small focal point, which is uh, underneath. You can change that from the MA. So if you want to be able to move and do the, the larger focal point, you do it from there. But we're going to start off with the small. To be able to get into the calibration mode, we need to go to the 200 and 800 feet of film button, which this is the 200 film button, this is the 800 film button. We're going to want to press those at the same time, and we want to see the tube one blinking. So go ahead and press these two at the same time, and now we can see that it's blinking. We can as well see that the uh, small focal point is there as well, uh, tube is blinking, so now we're ready to move to the next step. The next step here is to click on the I button and the plus for the KVP. So if I hold both of these at the same time, you should hear a beep. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And if you, you hear that beep, that means that we're good. And I can see that it says the 50 is an option. I'm going to click on do it one more time. And now you can see that I'm in auto calibration. Do it one more time. Now that I've hit it twice, you can see that the KVP is now at 50. The light is blinking and this is eliminated. So the next step that we wanna do is we wanna find the trigger switch, which is this button right here, and we're gonna hold down on that and take a series of x-rays. So you wanna make sure that you are behind the lead barrier wall or um, protective area when doing this, because it's gonna take a number of x-rays over about a 10 minute period. You also wanna make sure that you are holding down on this and that you're in a place where you can securely hold down on it. That might take the moving of one finger to the other over the period of the calibration. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and hold down and start the calibration. You're gonna hear the tube and the generator in the background taking a series of x-rays. Now that we've completed, if I see the nine nines on the KVP, I can now take my finger off and we have calibrated the low focal. The next step that you want to do is press and hold on the I button. Now that we've finished the low focal, we're going to move to the high focal. To move to the high focal, we want to increase the MA from 160 up to 200, and you'll see that it will move from the low focal to the high focal. Now we're ready to go and calibrate the high focal. So we're going to want to press down on the plus button as well as the I button again. We're going to press down one more time. And 
And then when we see the 50, that means that we are, are ready. So now that we've got everything ready, let's go ahead and start. So hold down. Now that we've completed, we can take, we're gonna see the same series of 999. Go ahead and take our finger off the trigger and we're gonna hold down on the I button. After hitting the I button, to get out of calibration mode, you wanna press the 200 and the 800 button here at the same time. And that brings you back to the x-ray console. 